you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. Don't always see it these days. Two up front, 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, and good to see because uh, those two boys up front, they have got a good partnership, a good understanding. McGinn. quite simply and he can pick the ball up wood attacking now Cut off. not much in that it was a whisker wide of the post Cut out that pass, it wasn't an accident, he read the mind of the opponent. That's going to run on through to the goalkeeper. Well, Wickham Wanderers, they're in fine fettle and looking for another win after that home success against Portsmouth. Yeah, 5 nil. Uh, the strikers were on fire. I think that'll be too much for the opposition today. Forward play from them. Played into the middle. Barnard struck the post hit. That's a hitting chance now. And in with the goal. And he's headed it with enough power to beat the keeper above him there. So the first goal, it's 1 0. Midfield well read by the player in that part of the pitch. A goal from uh, Notts County. It's a goal for Notts County. 23 minutes played, 1 0. Cheers, Alan. Oh, lost possession here. He's coming forward with some danger. A nice move to get away from the defender. Could be up. He's now going back to deal with the infringement that he could have blown for and the offender's going to get a yellow card. Yeah, I wonder whether he thought he got away with that because the play was allowed to go on, but no, he sees yellow. Goal news from Dagenham. It's a goal for Dagenham and Redbridge. 37 minutes played, 1-0. Well, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Physio's done his job here, done a good job. Player's going to come back. Yeah, and his teammates want him on sooner rather than later. Ten men. The cross coming in. Fantastic goal! Scored one similar to this myself, Martin. Good header to the keeper's right. He's starting at 2 0. Goal 
is from Plymouth. It's a goal for Stevenage. 41 minutes played. 1 0. Thanks, Alan. This is how they love to play on the break. And here's the shot. And he scores spectacularly. We just feel sorry for the keeper, really. The way he's hit that to his right, he's got no chance of getting a hand on it. Off we go again, 2-1. Good take by the goalkeeper, but no pressure on him. There's some potential in this move. Here's a chance! A well saved! Headed down to a teammate. Tackled well. Well, this is half time, that's the whistle, and 2 1 is the score at this stage. Player, top performance today from him, right on his game. He's being substituted now, and the crowd have loved watching his performance. Yeah, it's just all gone right. Doesn't happen all the time, but one of those days where he didn't really put a foot wrong. Shots up! The goalkeeper comes out with a punch. That's a good challenge between the two of them there. He's crossed it well. well. It was easy on the eye, but in the end pretty easy to defend against. Try to keep you in touch with the transfers as we hear about them. Ilkay Gundogan has moved to Atletico Madrid. Yeah, they were determined in their pursuit and certainly willing to spend around 30 million pound on what is a very talented player here's edwards that's how to tackle the home team about to make a change and it's gone out for a throw in a really threatening position too. He's kept it out. Players going forward, sensing from this corner the chance to equalise. McGinn. This could be danger with this passing. He's got his shot off now. Well, there was the opportunity to get them back on level terms. Well, I think he snatched at that a little bit. Just needed a cool ahead when it mattered. Goal news from Dagenham. It's a goal for Carlisle United. 63 minutes played, 2-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Comes out with a punch to clear the danger. Now we have a corner to come via that deflection. It's a bad pass. He's given it straight to the opposition. Here's Edwards. And the cross coming in. Driven goalwards, volleyed goalwards. Could be dangerous.
Shots on here. Great stop. It's a corner. And shoots. Well, they've had a go at goal following the corner. I don't know whether it was rehearsed, Alan. <laughs> It didn't quite look right. Well, it, whether it was rehearsed or not, it wasn't a bad effort, and it didn't miss by much. Space for the shot. He's just reached it, the goalkeeper. What a game he's having, the goalkeeper. Another save. Well, one team has got a much better ratio of shots to goals than the other. That's surprising, isn't it? Yeah, they're not uh, stats you would want your manager to see because they've been wasteful in front of goal. McCarthy. Well, that would be a throw. Goal news from Oxford. It's a goal for the visitors. 79 minutes played, 1-1. Cheers, Alan. The noise levels have gone up even more, and the scenario remains the same, the one-goal lead, and we're into the last 10 minutes. Well, the way things are shaping up, it looks like the home team are going to see out this lead, but still a chance for things to change. here winning the ball at this stage is ripped and he's in there with a header very good stop here and that has cost them but only a corner could have been worse and Hans is defending from him start from the back and it's a back pass to the keeper Time tackle. Three minutes, that's what's going to be played for added time. Wow. Shots up! And no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. Well, you can see what he was trying to do, but the pass wasn't on. It was a, a bad ball, as it turned out. So it's over. And we have a definite result, 2-1. We've given you the scoreline, the bottom line, it's a defeat. It is, and that dressing room will be a sad old place at the moment, a quiet one, I think, as it sinks in. And they'll just be looking ahead now, or they will be, uh, to the next match and hope for better things.